people are claiming a lot about quantum computing some say that it's a threat to security and some say that it can solve bigger mysteries like black hole with its computing power i wanted to decode it for me because of course delivering youtube videos makes your knowledge rich and it's good to spread some light on our community as well so if you appreciate me doing this consider subscribing so now have you ever wondered about those mysterious quantum computers that seems to be the talk of the town you might be picturing gigantic machines in high tech laboratories but let's simplify quantum computing together right in this video now you ask me quantum computers they are the next generation marvels operated on a whole new level we are not just talking about an upgrade we are talking about rewriting history think of it as a computing on the smallest building block of matter that is atom now i know the quantum jargon can be confusing let's clear it out together quantum computers are advanced machines inspired by quantum physics a study of the behavior of atoms and particles so quantum computers operates by studying and controlling the behavior of these particles which is completely different from a classical computer a classical computer performs operations using bits which can be either zero and one we already know this but now in contrast a quantum computer uses qubits and they can be both zero and one at the same time so think of it like a wave a qubit could be likely to be zero which means a lower energy wave or it could be one which means higher energy wave and each qubits has a probability of being each so basically when it starts working on the probability of multiple qubits it's a common misconception that quantum computers try all the options and that's not right it's more like a quantum computer kind of watches how all those waves interact and then finds the most likely answer so it's good at finding structure in tons of data and here is a mind blowing part quantum computers don't just compute in one universe they crunch numbers in an infinite numbers of parallel universe imagine the computational power it's not just about speed it's about exploring the limitless possibilities that unfolds here i'll tell you how we can unfold it today i will tell you about five unique properties of qubits in quantum computing like superposition gates measurement interference and entanglement that set them apart from bits these properties enable quantum computers to perform certain calculations much faster than the classical computer let's understand how it works with few examples first let's talk about superposition now imagine you have a light switch it can be in two of the states that is on or off this is similar to a classical bit representing binary information now imagine you have a special kind of light dimmer switch that can be in multiple positions simultaneously it's not just fully on or off it can be in any combination of on and off at the same time this is like a qubits in superposition in continuation with the above example enter the quantum gates quantum gates are like special tools which are used to manipulate these dimmer switch one type of gate might rotate the switch's position changing the probabilities of it being on or off another gate might entangle two switches meaning the state of one switch instantly influences the state of the other no matter how far apart they are in short the key difference is that quantum gates can manipulate qubits in ways that classical gates cannot now let's talk about the measurement when we measure a classical bit you get a definite result it's either 0 or 1 Now imagine you have a qubit in a superposition of 0 or 1. Now when you measure it, you might get 0 with a certain probability and 1 with another probability. It's like flipping a coin, but instead of just heads or tail, it's like the coin is spinning in the air. And when you catch it, it decides to be either heads or tails. Let's also talk about interference. Here, classical bits don't interfere with each other. Qubits can interfere with each other. either reinforcing or cancelling out their probabilities this allows quantum computers to perform certain calculations more efficiently for example imagine dropping a pebbles into a pond now ripples interfere with each other creating a pattern similarly in quantum systems different path or possibilities can interfere affecting the final result 
And now this brings us to the next property that is entanglement. Now it's a phenomena that defies the boundaries of space and time. Classical bits are independent, you know, changing the state of one bit doesn't affect another bit. On the other hand, qubits can be entangled, meaning the state of one qubit is directly related to the state of another, no matter how far apart they are. Changing the state of one qubit instantly affects the other. Now this connection is maintained even if they are the light years away from each other. Now imagine having a pair of magical socks. These socks come in a special set and no matter how far apart they are, when you change the color of one sock, the other instantly changes to the same color. Now this magical connection between the socks is similarly to the entanglement. However, the unique way in which quantum computers work also calls for unique operating conditions, namely their cooling system. Well, water and air work great for classical computers, but quantum computers need a bit more to operate at maximum efficiency due to the volatile nature of the particles that make up the qubits that power these machines. Now, they are incredibly sensitive to the slightest vibrations or fluctuations in temperature or electromagnetic environment, losing their fleeting quantum properties with microseconds. It has to be kept at approx minus 40, 459 something degree Fahrenheit. I always wondered that how faster is quantum computer as compared to classical computers. You'll be surprised to know that this is infinitely faster. And it is also stated that with the help of quantum computers, we'll be able to create a theory of the entire universe that eluded Einstein and which would explain black holes, supernovas, galactic evaluation. But the equations are so complex that no one has been able to solve them yet. Perhaps they will be solved because if physics says it's allowed, then our engineers are already making their way to solve it. Let me just tell you why is everyone racing to perfect quantum computing? Simple, because it's a game changer. Silicon Valley doesn't want to be left behind and major players are all in. Imagine having the ability to crack any code based on digital technology. Quantum computers pose a threat to traditional encryption methods as well. And let's not forget the security enthusiast. Quantum computers pose a threat to digital code, cracking them faster than you can say RSA encryption. Speaking of security, the FBI, CIA and national governments are keeping a keen eye on this quantum computing race. Quantum computers could crack encryption schemes that have been secure for years and that's something worth paying attention to. So as quantum computers become more useful, will they do everything better than a classical computer? Well, no. Sure, we can do crazy things with quantum computers and would be able to crack many of today's encryption techniques Predictions are there that they would create a hack-proof replacements. But classical computers are better at some tasks that quantum computers are not. For example, email, spreadsheets, and desktop publishing to name a few. The intent of quantum computer is to be different tool to solve different problems, not to replace classical computers. Most computation part will still be done with cheaper, leaner, and classical computer. Quantum computer will be used where quantum algorithm gives an exponential advantage over a classical algorithm. I also wanted to share a recent news on 30th January 2024, Korean quantum computing and IBM are writing the next chapter of quantum computers. They are expanding their quantum computing collaboration planning to deploy IBM's quantum system to on-site in Busan, South Korea by 2028 and Watson IBM's AI and data platform is now at KQC's disposal, providing a full stack solution for AI that is set to train, tune and deploy advanced models for enterprise worldwide. So this collaboration isn't stopping at quantum. KQC and IBM are investing big in generative AI, featuring advanced GPUs and IBM's artificial intelligence unit in a cloud native environment managed with Red Hat OpenShift. Now I want you guys to tell me what do you think about this upcoming most exciting technical evolution. If you want to stay ahead in the race of this knowledge, hit that subscribe button and drop a comment below. Tell us your quantum thoughts. We'll catch you tomorrow with another mind-bending story. Stay quickly quantum, curious and subscribed.